On the Y versus time plots, notice three cursors. The one on the left is referred to as the left limit cursor. If I click and reposition it, note that I plot more or less information in the XY area depending upon its position relative to the right side of the screen. The same is true of the right limit cursor relative to the left side of the screen. I can position these cursors anywhere on the screen to define a precise XY plot window. In between the limit cursors is a data cursor. As I move this one between the right and left limits, a crosshair updates on the XY plot to correlate the positions of time and the XY displays. To study dynamic relationships between the X and Y channels, I can scroll through the display in either direction. As waveform data enters the range I've specified, data is plotted on the XY plot. As it exits the range, it's erased. 